Welcome back, family of light. This is Davida with your medium of the light tarot. Leos, it's me. I am back with you for another love reading. We are going to use one of my faves, which I'm so thankful a subscriber gifted to my channel. This is the Golden Girls Tarot. Now, if this one doesn't resonate with you because I am a psychic medium, I can go super deep and in detailed information with each of these readings. So if this one doesn't resonate with you, go check out my playlist. Look for a title that resonates with you. Don't worry about the date because Spirit has a, <laughs> has a sneaky way of getting information in that's timeless. So when you find it, it is meant to be. And if you're new here, welcome. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. All right, so the overall card is the Hermit. This is you, this is them, this is the storyline. Flip these two as it resonates with you. So you have the King of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles. Your person <laughs> has the Ace of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. Lots of cups on your person's side there. Oh, duh. I didn't even see it. <laughs> the king and queen. So you guys are definitely a divine couple. Congratulations. All right. So there is the two of pentacles with the king of cups. You know, and these energies can be intertwined or interchangeable. So you're trying to make sure that you have things balanced here. Not only in the relationship but with your finances and here with the seven of pentacles you've got it going on and you've got the three of pentacles here equal give and take show you know, like working cooperatively towards a solid foundation so here comes the empress you think of your person as the empress okay the end all be all. So here's the five of cups with the seven of pentacles. Now guides, what is that about? What I'm hearing is a minor hiccup in the plan. Whatever the plan is, apparently there's a plan. So with the ace of cups, here comes the ace of swords. So not only do you want to, well you, them, I'm already thinking that there's going to be a lot of intertwining here because this is a public reading. So anywho, so with these two Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, there's the beginning of love, offering love, and having it being grounded. You know, and thinking things through. So with this Knight of Pentacles, your person's not really fast moving. And it is interesting because I do think I'm a... Um, switched these up so I apologize for that but like I said apparently there's a lot of switcheroo energy here and you're going to know your own storyline so you can figure that out so there's the knight of pentacles with the four of pentacles slow moving your person slow moving and then with the four of pentacles here it's holding on to what you have With the Queen of Cups, here comes the Page of Cups. They definitely want to offer that cup of love. But with that Knight of Pentacles there, they're going to go slowly. You know, here's the Five of Cups and the Seven of Swords. And here's the Seven of Cups. Let's stop here and ask. They don't want to use that one. They want to use this one. All right. What is this unhappiness about here? Because the rest of it looks pretty darn happy. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. <laughs> soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Okay, so guys, tell me more about that. 
Okay. There's some kind of unresolved past life drama that you need to go through. And, you know, there's always karma associated with the relationship that's been around the block a couple of times. So we will try to go a little further into that and see what it is about. Okay. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you. Okay. So it's, there, what, the, what I'm hearing is that there's, there's lots of subtle layers here, and that's why there's a lot of um, intermixing of energy here. You guys are very, very um, energetically intertwined here. So this is what I call my 3D card. It's like the 3D stuff, not all the soulmate, past life, morning, wedding. Okay. What I'm hearing is that there's wedding on a horizon or it's already being talked about or already being um, planned. You know, it's various, various stages of development here because like I said, this is a public reading. So if you're wanting to know for sure, check the description box down below because I am doing readings, personal readings. Now guys, tell me about this wedding. Okay, so this is trigger this this wedding, this commitment is triggering you guys. It's triggering this seven of swords energy. And this, oh, maybe I need to make a different choice here. You know, and then oddly enough here is the judgment card. There was some kind of judgment, some kind of situation from the past, and I'm talking past life that is affecting this. So we're going to have to go much deeper into figuring out what that is. What is the wedding? Tell me, give me more. Yeah, there was a conversation that was had that was not a good one about the wedding. Okay, we're going to flip to another deck here. Now, if this is resonating with you, please make sure that you give this a thumbs up and subscribe so it gets put out to other Leos and our cross watchers that need to hear this. So there's patience involved. What I'm hearing is that you guys are very much in a conundrum where there's so many different kinds of energy running through your, um, your relationship that it's very ungrounded. And there's going to be some patience involved to be able to decode, is what I'm hearing, <laughs> the situation. You know, and that's where it's saying here, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Because I feel that with the karmic load that you guys are carrying that needs to be dealt with, and it will be dealt with, but it's just kind of like weaving through it, decoding the signs that the universe are giving the two of you. Because, of course, those are lessons, right? Lessons that need to be learned, things that need to be put in the past. This is hardly, this is going to be for a very, very small amount of you. And I've never gotten this with this card before. But there's something about Eskimo energy. Something about Eskimo, I don't know, that is... Very different than I what messages I usually get, but um, you know, and you know that I'm nosy if I, if you've been here before. So whoever the Eskimo mention is, let me know. Something about really cold temperatures. So not only are you going to have to go within, in the energetic and fix your vibration because whatever this is triggering for you, you know, the prospect of committing to each other, you need to balance this out in your vibration. Yeah, there's almost like a reinventing that you need to do. What I'm hearing from the guys is there's things that you're gonna to need to drop off of your personality and your ego 
because this situation is asking for you to up level your life in all aspects. I, I feel that both of you are very committed to the situation, but there's also this kind of a running and this rethinking. Okay. Now guys, give me more information here. Yeah, it's making sure you guys are not communicating well. You're communicating, but, you know, there's this hermit card here where it's, you know, going within and trying to figure it out and, you know, find that flashlight and look a little deeper. Look in the dark recesses of your mind and go, okay, what's the trigger here? You know, and if you need to, even go to a hypnotherapist who does past life regressions because there's something here that's locked between the two of you. action. Yeah, both of you are feeling this urge to take action. And it's kind of like you're at a stalemate because you can't. Because there's there's things that are unseen that you're having a hard time, you know, getting clear on. You know, of course, both of you recognize each other. Kind of wonder if this is a because obviously, it's a past life relationship that's a soulmate. I'm kind of wondering if we're going to get any indication on um, the twin flame. You know, and this is like a spring for you guys. This is a new beginning. But I'm hearing with the past life connection that the two of you have, both of you are very, very excited to move this forward. You know, it's kind of like what I'm feeling is being able to to finish out what you couldn't finish in the past life that you were in together. Guys, give me more information about what you would like to have the Leos and our cross watchers know. They're going into this hermit. They're saying, you know, go and, you know, do past life regression with someone who's reputable in your area. Go and figure out what that is. And if your person is open to it too, because I feel like they would be, because I, I feel like you guys have communicated that, you know, you, you feel this deep soul bond together. You know, how powerful it would be to be able to go and do, you know, two past life regressions with the purposes of clearing karma between the two of you. <laughs> and romance shows up. It's like you guys are no, you know, this is a divine relationship. It's already in here with the king and queen of cups. But look at that angel. This is divinely ordered. And you guys know that. Both of you know it. Without a doubt. What other information can we give here? Okay. So we're going to take this into the, an extended. This is something that is pretty deep. And of course, it's not going to be a personal reading, but it's going to be a much smaller group of you who would be in the extended. So basically what I do with the extended is it's a little different than others. It's $5 for the reading, but it's not just for this reading. It's $5 for all of my extended in my Patreon library. And it's a monthly subscription, so you can keep it, look at the ones that resonate with you, and then watch the new ones that come out. Okay? If you choose to join me. Now, for those of you who do not want to join me, Spirit, what would you like to tell those? If you feel that the hypnotherapy is something that resonates with you, you know, either your partner wants to do it or just you. I think it will It will help eliminate some of these. Mm, I can't even think of the word. Uh, unseen, un, you know, not understood forces. So you could gain more control of this. 
and have that insight and be able to slay the dragon. Okay. All right. I hope that that was helpful, Leos. Otherwise, I will see you in the extended. And okay, guys.